Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and it was UFC Vegas 69 at the Apex last night. Uh, the main event was Jessica Andrade versus Erin Blatchfield. Uh, really good fight to be fair. Great performance from Erin. She made uh, in the end light work of Andrade who in my opinion is a bit too small for the 1-2-5 uh, division. Uh, she has been a champion at straw weight and I think at fly weight. Some of the girls are just a bit too big. But it was a great performance from Erin. Uh, the first round, straight out of the bat, Andrade hits her with a really good one-two and kind of knocks her head back a little bit. And then from there, it was competitive first round. I thought Erin did win it. She was unable to take Jessica down. I think she tried maybe three or four times but was unable to get her to the ground. Uh, the defence from Andrade was really good. And they were both landing some big shots, to be fair. A lot of low kicks, a lot of you know head hunting from Erin as well. Andrade was more trying to work the whole body. But yeah, I did think Erin won the first round, even though it was competitive. And then in the second round, um, I know... Andrade did take the fight at short notice but in the second round there was almost zero resistance straight away from Jessica Andrade as when Erin got her down to the ground she got the choking before she kind of even got the hooks in and then just kind of took her down went straight to the back got the choking then we didn't really even get the hooks in and just kind of flattened her out of her weight from there and then it was a tap it was a, a pretty convincing win to be fair and she did make it look easy in the second round compared to how competitive the first round of now moving forward for the flyweight division for the women it is uh you know it's another contender in there which the champ valentina shebchenko wins because i mean needs if i'm being sorry because I do think, is a, well, it's pretty clear, she's defended about seven times now and has cleared out the division. However, quite a controversial win last time out against Talia Santos. I did think immediately they should run that one back as it was a close fight, super close. I thought the wrestling was just what, and the damage from Shevchenko is what scored it late in the fight for her, but it made sense to run that one back. Um, however, she is fighting Alexis, and the name's gone out of my head, I do apologise, but I do think Shevchenko just runs through her, to be fair, and for Blatchfield, after watching that fight yesterday, I thought Shevchenko makes light work of both of them, if I'm being honest, however, Blatchfield is still really young, she's only 23, um, Shevchenko is 34 and that 11 years of experience is what's going to win Shevchenko the fight in my opinion I think for Erin she's just beaten number 3 so I'm assuming she would go to number 3 in the ranks I do think if she's she didn't really take any damage if you can get a quick turnaround maybe against Italia Santos or another top 5 opponent is you know, you, you're not going to be finishing Shevchenko early, so it's going to be a five-round fight that could go all the way unless one of them gets each other out there, which I, I don't see that happening unless Shevchenko can finish her first. And I, I think that's more likely a Shevchenko finish rather than a Blatchfield finish, if I'm being honest. So she needs a five-round fight in a tank just to, you know, settle the nerves. She's full of confidence, and rightly so, though, Edgefield, uh, Aaron. You know, she did call out the winner of that fight, which is speaks volume of her confidence about herself. It's easy for us to sit there and say, oh, I'll take one or two more fights before you get there. Is she probably feels like she can beat her right there and then, and you know, fair play to her. You, you've got to believe it to achieve it, as uh, Luke Rockwell said. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a good fight. I do think Shobchenko is levels above all of the women in flyweight, if I'm being honest. And you know, it'd be interesting to see her go back up to Bantamweight to fan, fight Amanda Nunes, as I do think she won the second fight where it was a split decision loss. I did think Shevchenko won that fight. You guys let me know what you think about that one as well. Uh, who won Amanda or Shevchenko? As I did think Shevchenko had edged it, but hey ho, live to fight. And there, uh, Erin's got two good wins on the spin. She absolutely i say manhandle she woman handled molly mccann and got her uh, took her down straight away got her into the crucifix crucer fixed position and just rained elbows and big shots down on it i'm a huge molly mccann fan obviously being from the uk but that was absolutely brutal if i'm being honest and it was uh not nice to see for molly and then another great 
you know performance against uh, you know a, ch- a former champion, even though it was in the weight division below Jessica Andrade. Even though she took the fight on short notice, she still is a bad motherfucker and one of the best in the sport, especially in the women's division. So to make light work off her, that was really good to see as well. And the wrestling is a big game for Erin. But Shevchenko does have great groundwork. You know, she's so well-rounded. Predominantly got the Muay Thai stance out of Southpaw. However, she is a mixed martial artist and is an expert in all of the games. So the route to victory for Erin would be, if she can out-wrestle her, is I don't think in, you know, let's say they fight in a year's time, you can't get up to the level of Shevchenko striking in a year. From what I watched today, in the fight, or last night, sorry, should I say, and in her previous fights, her boxing and Muay Thai is nowhere near on the level of Shevchenko. She just flows, as she you know, she's been doing it since she's six years old in terms of Muay Thai, so it's not hard to see why she is so good. So, in my opinion, I'd like to see Erin take one or two more fights, but at the same time, there's not really many contenders up there who aren't pre-booked, so, uh, who are a free, sorry, so... Right away. However, strange things have happened. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you think Erin should fight the winner of Shevchenko uh, next or should she take one more sort of top five fight before that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Cheers.